Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Hope you're having an okay start so far to the new year. So far, 2021 hasn't imploded yet, so that's good. Now, there are two main parts to this video. The first being, I just wanted to thank you all for watching my content through the last year. I have to admit that making YouTube videos really helped me through a lot of the dry patches through last year and just interacting with you guys, both about Supernatural and just everything in general. It was a real fun time and it did, like I said, help me through the dry patches. I think I also produced the most amount of videos in a single year in the entirety of running this channel. However, it did make me think about something that has been in the back of my mind for quite some time. The one thing that's kind of bothered me about how I've run the channel is that it seems to be kind of very disorganized. Other than releasing a video right after something has come out, say a Supernatural episode or sometimes a movie review, it's always been very cluttered and that's something I want to change and that is what this video is talking about. I'm going to try and make a schedule video release for 2021 and into subsequent years and that's what this video is going to be talking about. I've always wanted to do something like this but I've never really felt that I've had the structure for and that's what I've been spending the last few days kind of building and brainstorming about and so far I already have two weekly things that I can definitely say that I will be doing. The first obviously being Supernatural Retro Reviews. I want it to be Thursday because that's the day that I associate Supernatural with on a very, very integral level. That was how I watched the first five seasons. And while the show did change around between Friday and Wednesday and Thursday, Thursday has always been Supernatural Day to me. And the fact that season 15 ended on a Thursday kind of further cements that feeling to me. So starting this Thursday, there will be a new Supernatural review every Thursday until we finish season four and then season five will pick up very very shortly afterwards and we will have the core five seasons done by the end of the year. Consider this me trying to make up for the immense amount of procrastination that I did while reviewing the first season. My hair couldn't even wait around long enough for me to finish that season so I will be trying to amend that. The second weekly video will be a movie review. Most likely this will be on a Saturday unless there is some big major release that happens and I review it on Friday. However considering the kind of landscape of how films are being released now, the fact that movie theaters still haven't reopened he up here in BC, that might be a little bit different so it's going to be probably a mix between movies that I like, movies that the Patreons choose, and then movies that come out in theaters. So there will be kind of a mixed match of that. But that will be happening every Saturday, barring something kind of just isn't on the table to do that. I will still be releasing videos kind of spontaneously, but those are the two dates that I really want to lock down for the rest of the year and then build on that schedule for other things. I would also like to try and set a monthly goal of a video essay every month. Now admittedly, the most I've ever been able to crank out in a single year is four, so I'm going to try and aim for six with a big goal being nine and the super goal being 12. I want to make sure they're entertaining and I want to make sure they're good quality, not being made just for the sake of being made. I already have one in the making for January and one also so far scheduled for October. It's not a Halloween themed one but for those who have a keen eye you'll be able to figure out what it is as we get closer to that date. And to give you guys a sneak peek the first one that's going to be coming out in January is my critique of the Supernatural finale of what it did good, what it could have done better, and maybe my own little idea of how it could have ended. Another monthly activity I'm going to be doing is channel shoutouts. This idea actually comes from my buddy Emilio over on his channel Citizens, who also gave me the schedule idea with this pretty nifty video here. If you haven't watched any of his videos yet, I would highly recommend it. The guy is super consistent with his quality and his very good nature will. One of the nicest people I've ever gotten to meet and I love watching his videos. And that would be the point of these channel shoutouts. I would be talking about channels that I genuinely enjoy and want to see succeed. Some will be friends I know, others will be some that have been around for years or just started out. As the years have gone on, YouTube has made it harder and harder to try and grow your channel unless you find yourself in the algorithm paradox. I feel that doing these shoutouts is more important than ever when you're trying to help build a community. So every three to four weeks, I'll be doing a video talking about channels that I personally know, ones that I enjoy that have a small but growing fan base and then some big channels that produce some really really good content and I think that maybe you guys might enjoy. Other ideas I have in the mix but aren't really concrete yet are movie slash gaming news videos just talking about big updates that are happening in both industries as well as poster and mug reviews from Redbubble or any other sites that I go to. Barring that we're able to go back to a comic-con of some sort this year I would really like to try and go and find some art prints and talk about those with you guys. And and finally, I want to talk about the people who signed up for the Patreon so far. Thank you so much. I'm kind of 
kind of a guess that you guys would want to support me in that way, but I very much appreciate it. And I will do my utmost due diligence to make sure that your guys' choice is a good one. And then that brings me to a point about how I'm gonna be doing the channel shout outs. Most channels obviously do the like that, which by the way, here are the people who have supported me so far. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for joining these tiers. I'm going to do that method obviously at first, but there is another method that I'm kind of interested in trying if you guys would also be interested in that. It would involve me placing your name randomly throughout the video. This might make it a little bit more fun to enjoy because you're watching the video waiting to see when your name's going to appear. I promise it's not going to be like, where's Waldo hard? It'd be something along the lines of, oh, there you are. So those are my plans so far for 2021. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys are excited about what I have planned. Again, there will be more coming this year than just what I've got planned so far, but I wanted to give you guys something rather than a kind of a nothing. I, I wanted to at least give you a solid little idea of what is going on with the channel and what we're planning to expand on in this year. So thank you guys again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. And thank you guys once again. Now here's to 2021, and let's hope it's a better year for all of us, eh? Thanks for watching the video. My my name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.